day everyone welcome to another episode of quick math tutorial today we are going to learn about intersection and union of events let's have our first example the extracurricular activities in which the junior class at Tomas Kabili National High School participate are shown in the Venn diagram below so in this Venn diagram we are given here the extracurricular activities which are drama, the band, and the athletics participated by junior students. So we are given here 38 students who join in the drama only, 51 students who join in the band only, and 137 who join in the athletics only. Also, there are 30 students who join in the drama and band only and 8 students who join in the band and athletics only and 4 students who join in the drama and athletics only and 10 students who join in all of these extracurricular activities and finally there are 67 students who did not join any of these extracurricular activities Let's solve our first question. How many students are in the junior class? So in this problem, we are tasked here to find the number of students that are in the junior class. So for this solution, we will just add all of these numbers, including this one. So we will have 38, 30, 10, 4, 51, 137, plus 67, which is equal to 345. So therefore, there are 345 students in the junior class. Second question is, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student participates in athletics? So, our event here is to find the probability that the student participates in athletics. So, we will have this circle only. So, for our solution, we will find the sum of 137 plus 4 plus 10 and plus 8, which is equal to 159. And since we are tasked to find the probability, so therefore, we will use the formula probability of an event which is equal to the number of ways the event can occur divided by the number of possible outcomes which is equal to 159 over 345 we have 345 since the total number of the students here is 345 Therefore, the probability that the student participates in athletics is 159 over 345 or 46%. Next, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student participates in athletics or say 18? So, in this problem, we will just find the sum of the number of students who participates in athletics or say 80. So, we will have here the athletics and the say 80. So, for our solution, we will just add 137 plus 4 plus 10 plus 8 plus 38 and plus 30, which is equal to 227. So, to find the probability, we will use again the this formula, which is equal to 227 divided by 345. Therefore, the probability that the student participates in athletics or say 80 is 227 or 66%. This problem involves union. It is like the union of our first event, which is the athletics, and our second event, which is the CAT. That is why we will just find the sum of the numbers that can be found 
in the CAT and in the athletics. Our fourth question is, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student participates only in CAT and band? Take note class that we have here the word only. So we will just consider those students who participates only in the CAT and in the band. And that is 30. So for our solution, we have... So we have here 30 since these are the students who participate in the CAT and band only. So using the formula for the probability, we will have 30 over 345. Therefore, the probability that a student participates only in CAT and band is 30 over 345 or 9%. This problem also involves the intersection. Intersection means those are the elements that are common in both sets. So the common number which can be found only in the CAT and band is 30. For our second example, we will have the Venn diagram below shows the probabilities of grade 10 students joining either soccer represented by S or basketball represented by B. So let's solve for our first question. So we will find the probability of the student who join in the basketball. Take note class that we are already given here the probabilities. So therefore, this point 0.4 is already a probability, also the point 0.3, point 0.2, and point 0.1. So for this problem, we don't need to use the formula for the probability. So we will have point 0.4 plus point 0.3. Since our event here are the students who join in the basketball. So since this is the set for the basketball, so we will just add 0.4 and 0.3, which is equal to 0.7. Therefore, the probability that the student joins in the basketball is 0.7. Next. We will find the probability of the student who joins in the soccer. So for our solution, let us consider this set. So we will just add 0.2 plus 0.3, which is equal to 0 0.5. Therefore, the probability that the student joins in soccer is 0 0.5. Next, we will find P of B intersection of S. So for our solution, we will have 0 0.3. Why 0 0.3? Because we are tasked to find the intersection of the set B and the set S. So therefore, we will find the number that are common in these two sets, which is 0 0.3. Therefore, the probability that the student joins only in basketball and soccer is 0.3 next we will find p of b union s so for our solution since we are tasked to find the union we will just add all the numbers that can be found both in set b and set s so we will have 0.4 plus 0.3 plus 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.9 therefore the probability of B union S is equal to 0 0.9 or it is the probability that the student joins in basketball or soccer is 0 0.9 and for our last question we will find the probability of B complement intersection of S complement so to solve this one Consider B complement intersection of S complement. First, we will solve for the B complement. 
B complement, it means that these are all the elements that can be found in the Venn diagram except in the set B. So it is like erasing all the numbers that are in the set B. So we will just have 0 0.2 and 0 0.1. So we have here, copy the intersection. And for the S complement, so again, these are all the elements that can be found in the Venn diagram except in the set S. So we can erase this one. So we will just have 0 0.4 and 0 0.1. So we have here. Now let's find the intersection of these two sets. So since we will find the intersection, so what are the common elements that can be found in these two sets? So we have point 0.1. So therefore, our probability is equal to 0 0.1. And that ends our quick math tutorial. If you liked the video, please click on the like button. If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified on my new videos, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Bye! Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.